Hey guys, Brutto here. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2019. Here we have part number 9 of our Rags to Riches series. So this episode, um, I was going to mow around the outside and bail it up, and then, hopefully, if we have enough time, skip through the night and get ready to harvest our own field. First time we're going to actually get in and harvest a field that we actually own. No more working for anyone else. So I have actually mown a little bit, as you can see, not much, but I did come along and mow a little bit. So we're going to mow around the outside of this field, then I'm going to have a look at the shop and pick up one of the really old balers, a really old bale trailer, um, and start baling as well. Get some grass bales and then get ready for when we have our straw left over on the field. So we'll obviously have straw bales as well once we're finished with the harvest. Yep, just making sure we're getting the grass right up against this field. And these trees are going to cause a bit of an issue, I think. I'm going to go right back to that tree. I don't think it's going to matter because I'm not going to be able to get in there and get that grass anyway. But So I did decide against mowing it and leaving it and mowing it again a few times before we actually come and harvest it. The baler and trailer is pretty cheap. so And now we've got that $50,000 loan that we need to pay back as soon as we can. We have enough money to pick up a baler and a trailer, so we don't have to stress about money at this point in time. I'm still going to run it, actually I might run it at times 15 the speed, because this won't grow again by the time we finish mowing it. Um, and then once we're finished mowing, I think I'm going to bump it all the way up to times 120 and try and get through a day as quick as we can. That way we can come back and get ready to harvest our first field. So hopefully you guys have been enjoying the series so far. I'm still really, really enjoying playing it. Um, I am several episodes ahead of what you guys probably are at the moment. Um, Viewing-wise, it's just one of those series that um, I can't stay away from. I can't not record an episode just because I'm just really enjoying it. Really, really enjoying recording, really enjoying, you know, the excitement of seeing where this actually does go in the long run and where we end up and um, where you guys decide to sort of take our farm, whether we're going to keep it as just a grain farm or turn it into a cow farm or um, a horse farm or whatever it may be. You know, you guys need to let me know what you think our long-term goal is going to be. Whether we want us to be a really big dairy farm or if we're going to be just a big, you know, grain exporter or something like that. You guys let me know what you think. I guess once we get to that point that we've sort of reached our target, what do we do after that? Do we start another Rags to Riches series at a different farm? Do we take all the money we've got and all the equipment we've got, sell everything and move to another, perhaps another country um, and start again with no equipment but with the money that we've earned through this series so far? There's um, lots of possibilities to be honest what we can actually do, where we can actually go once we're sort of at that stage. Just missing parts of the grass here. So yeah, it's um, possibilities for us in this series pretty much, I wouldn't say endless, there's always going to be an end, but you know there's a lot that we can actually do before we decide to either get rid of the series or move on to another map or something there's heaps of stuff that can be done so I really want you guys to have as much input as you like so if you have any ideas as I always say leave it in the comment section let me know and um, see what we can do see if we can bring some of those ideas into the game and make it make it you know, not just my game, but sort of our our save game. Um, I might get to, say, episode 10. And then I might even 
save the game and upload that save file so you guys at home if you want to you can always um you know jump in and play the game yourself as well from where we are at episode 10 so still rags to riches but you guys don't have to do all the, the hard yards that i've had to do with working for other people and doing all those tedious little jobs and that sort of stuff so if you guys would like a copy of the same game let me know in the comments section as well and, um, definitely make that happen for you guys if that's what you guys would like to do I think we're pretty much pretty much done here I think there's just there's a little bit there we've missed but I might do one more little run along here I run through here like this. Where's that bit that we've missed? Up here somewhere. Okay, we'll tidy that up as well. I want to do a run through here and then we can first back and cut the bits we've missed. There you go, look at that. Alright, let's go and take this off. We'll go down to the shop, just luckily just across the road. Don't have to go very far. We can look at the baler and the trailer. This tractor certainly sounds mean. Certainly a lot happier with this one compared to um, the one that we had before. Much more expensive, but much better as well. All right, let's go through to our baling technology. So we have the Fort Street B550. Doesn't look, uh, I wouldn't say it doesn't look old, it looks old, but it's not really worn as such. Still a good looking piece of equipment. Not as much weathering and stuff on there that I would hope to see, but still another good mod brought into the game. Hopefully it works properly, we'll have to wait and see. Um, and then I've got this one, the 20 foot refurbished flatbed trailer so the wheels we've got lizard we've got Nokian, we've got trellaborg i think we'll just go with oh, i don't know we'll go lizard standard that's fine design we can have the new front creel new front and back creel and the toolbox on the side i think we'll just go with the front one so we know where to sort of put the bales start them off um, registration is just the registration plate on the back, of course. So, Ireland, I think that's what that means. German, UK, French, Netherlands, no registration. No registration is fine with me. Um, so let's have a, have a quick look at wind rowers. I don't think... No. we got this guy, but I just it's too new. Too new for what we're trying to go with on this map. So there's no windrow, wind rowers or tatters or anything that I've seen as yet that um, sort of match what we're going for. So we won't bother to use it. We'll just use our baler itself. It's going to be hard to get all the grass, but um, we will do our best to pick it all up. Depending on how wide the actual pickup is, it's going to be one of those things. I think the pickup is pretty wide actually, it's like we're getting all of the grass already, so we'll jump that tree. Sort of driving the centre there, it's fine. So one thing I want to test now is if I go like this, no, it's not damaging the crop. Um, we do have, yep, everything's on, so obviously this lower stage of the crop is not going to get damaged if we drive over it, which is good to know. Just in case we need to come through and spray for weeds, which we probably will have to before the harvest is ready, but we'll have to wait and see. Need to sneak through here and try not to hit that tree. 
don't know how many bales we're going to get out of this, but... It's all going to be money in our pocket anyway, in the long run. I won't take the... Um, Cruiser speed. I won't take the bales up to the shop yet. We'll wait until we've done the harvest and done the straw and take it all up to the sell point in one go. So now that's two bales. We might be lucky to get three bales out of it. Time we go through here and head back down and. Yep, yeah, there goes one. Do a run back up. And a run back down. Try and back him back in between those trees there. Uh, I think I hit the no, I didn't hit the tree, I said I hit the fence or the hedge, I suppose you call it. And yet look at that, we have weeds already. So I need to slow the speed down because we're going to have to buy another sprayer to be able to take care of that because we can't afford to buy another truck. Actually, we probably could afford to buy another truck, but I'm not going to. We can buy a little sprayer, which has only got 400 litres, so I don't know how far um, it'll go with us trying to spray for weeds and stuff, we'll have to wait and see. Let's try and pick up these last few little bits, which is probably not going to matter too much because we're going to pick them up on the next mow anyway. So, three bales, so not many. Right, let's try and back this in beside this mower here without hitting any trees or anything. Right, there we go. So we need to go and pick up our baler as I said, but then we're also going to have to now pick up um, a sprayer. So we've got the Biards, Biardski. It's only 400 litres. We will buy that and we'll see how that goes. Spraying us, so it's only 400 litres, so we might need to come and fill it up a few times. But uh, which side do we connect from? This side, we'll put it on the front. So, yeah, we might need to come and fill it up a few times, but it's not going to hurt us, I suppose. All right, so I'll drive forward. Pull it up while they're there. It fills up pretty quick. I'm hoping it doesn't empty as quick. It's part of the reason why I went with the big truck because I didn't know how far the spray would actually go when we got to that point. Ooh. We've got to stop damaging things. Stop here, I won't shut it down. We're gonna pick these bales up, chuck these guys, whoop, not literally, we'll chuck these guys on. There we go. Oh, there we go. Fits pretty well. Grab this one. Put this one on as well, and then we can strap these guys down. Not that it's going to matter too much, but we'll strap them down and then we can move it out of the way and start spraying for our weeds. Three straps, I think three straps is too many. We could probably even just. Throw the one strap on there, it's not going to matter. Um, I might stick it over. Through there. So this might be the next field we buy. 
plenty of trees, plenty of grass, so we're going to have a lot of work to do if we want to um, actually, you know, get rid of some of these trees and, and that sort of thing. There we go, so it's going down reasonably quick. Might need to fill it up. once or twice before we have to um, before we get to finish the field maybe we'll have to wait and see but it's going to work I think if we do get any weeding jobs we'll be able to use this we might just need to bring the trailer with us or a smaller trailer and have some herbicide actually on the trailer ready to go it's another thing we need to do. Right, so now we need to sort of line ourselves up again. So we need to line up at 180, 1463. and I think we're probably going to miss a little bit which I can see where we haven't haven't sprayed so we won't worry about our manual GPS mod we'll just follow along I can definitely see the difference between what we have sprayed and what we haven't sprayed um, believe it or not that is all planted apparently that's what it looks like after our hired worker um, there's no gaps or anything there so certainly telling me that it's all planted even though it looks like there's a bit of a gap so there might be a bit of a gap there but it's not really too big a concern for me anyway he's done a pretty good job considering the young fella right. follow along Might just run straight through this time, so we've got a straight run for the next two. We might, we might go closer, not having to fill this thing back up. We'll be very, very close. Um, I also do have, I have picked up uh, fertilizer technology. This guy, the IMT Cyclon, only does fertilizer though, not lime, unfortunately. But that's something that we can possibly look at later on as well. Um, I was kind of hoping it did lime because we would have been able to use that as our as our lime spreader for this field. It would be a lot easier than using the trailer but fortunately it doesn't do lime so we're just going to have to possibly purchase that um, trailer again for our lime and then keep using our truck for our fertilizer I mean I, I do know that our truck was a little bit of overkill when we did actually buy it but I certainly think it's helped us out a lot helping us get the jobs done a lot quicker and, and all that sort of thing so it's definitely worth the money and I definitely definitely earned its money back that we paid for it already more run. Try to line ourselves up properly so we don't miss any. Can't see those trees. There we go. I think that's, yep, that's perfect. Smack bang in the middle. There's a couple of spots here that we've missed, but if we haven't got enough left to touch them up, I'm not going to worry about it going to be very close to having enough to finish in the field, which I don't think we're going to have enough. So close. Yep, so close yet so far. It's a tiny little bit there. It's all we've missed. So fold it up. We'll go and 
refill it, come back and touch up that spot. So it's, yeah, it's worked out well. Considering I didn't think we would get that far with it, so obviously the amount, the amount that it uses is drastically reduced compared to many other sprays that are out there, the weeds. Let's have a look, there's a spot straight ahead here somewhere. Just here somewhere. There we go, I think that's it. There's another spot. Just here somewhere. Get done. course spot here and then we're finished done so I've sort of folded up bump our speed up to 120 get off the field as good as I can in case it does progress we end up damaging the crop we're going fill it back up There probably are plenty of jobs that we can actually get done um, in between today and tomorrow, but I'm not going to worry about it. I want to focus our time now on getting our first crop done. So, well, that guy did. Whoop. That sort of didn't really work, did it? No, it's. Oh no, I'll say it's very, very front heavy. <laughs> no. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, yeah, very front heavy. Alright, so the next thing we're going to need to look at as well is some sort of trailer now. We need some sort of trailer for us to come and unload. So this one for eight thousand. That one's forty-four thousand. We don't want that one. This one's for a dollar, which is. I mean, it's pretty cool. But if it was more than a dollar, I'd be, you know, a lot happier. I'm not going to spend just a dollar. Ah, we don't want that one. We don't want that one. That's all chaff and stuff as well. So pretty much, we can't really afford any of them at the moment. We don't have enough money. So we're going to have to either go and sell these guys, which probably won't give us enough either. Because they're 4,000 litres each and it's only grass. So we're going to probably get 600 bucks each, 612, $1,800. So that'll be 9,000. So we might get enough. So, um,. Let's go and do that. We'll go and sell these three bales. Um, and then we'll buy a trailer. Hopefully we'll be set, ready for our harvest. That track, tractor is really, tractor is really loud. If that's too loud for you guys, let me know. Um, definitely, it's definitely loud for me. I definitely feel like we are sitting in the right spot as far as field of view goes. We're looking straight down, we're looking straight at the back of the seat, so that's perfect. Right, so we'll turn right here, head up to where the cell point and stuff is. Get rid of these bales roughly about eight hundred dollars eighteen hundred dollars worth if I calculate it correctly so we should have nine thousand dollars still using the keyboard to play as you guys can see with the way that I've got to sort of turn and drive at the same time but um 
It doesn't look very pretty from the inside. Sixteen hundred dollars. That's good. We didn't even have to um, take them off. Beautiful. All right. So slow it right down because we're going to need to. I'm going to throw these guys on while I'm here. But we'll pick up a trailer before we do anything else. So eight eight is all we've got. So we can pretty much go with this guy and this guy only, which is. 10,000 litres, or possibly, with a cover. We don't really need a cover. Lizard, knock-in, Trelleborg. Have to go with the same sort of standard. I think if we do go painting things, it's going to cost us more money, isn't it? So, it's orange. What's orange? Orange might be the... Yeah, it's the cover. Okay. Um... Right, let's go back because it's given us cost us money we don't have now. So eight and a half thousand buy this guy. So that's at the shop ready to go. Right here, guys, I'll um load this stuff up, go back to the farm, or we'll come back the next morning when we're ready to start harvesting. Right here, guys, I think um Mother Nature has decided that uh she doesn't want us harvesting today. So training. Um we might have to end the episode here because we can't harvest in the rain. We're going to have to allow um, the crop to dry between the rain and the harvest before we can actually, you know, get it through with a proper yield. So, yeah, Mother Nature isn't playing games today. Finally got to the time where we can start making money for ourselves, and um, she's decided, yeah, no, nope, nobody, you you're not going to make any money today so we might end the episode here and um we might come back when we are actually able to harvest it and um get it done so let the rain stop let it dry a little bit come back and harvest it and um go from there so if you guys enjoyed this episode as always smash that like button um as always leave a comment let me know if you enjoyed it or not and what you do and don't want to see if you've got any ideas if you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been Brito. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.